The Glucken and the Sluden. Yay! Yay, transitional music. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent, excellent show tonight. We have a lot of show to do. We can't waste too much time. I did want to mention something. I talked about a lot of the big stories over there in the, uh, in the laugh zone. But um, I wanted to mention... A st don't giggle with that. I wanted to mention a very strange story. Not a big story, but a strange story that I read on the Internet. Because I'm on the Internet all the time. Uh, and uh, many of you may be familiar. I don't know if you're familiar with the classic Italian film La Dolce Vita. It came out over, this is a movie that came out over 40 years ago. It is considered one of the greatest movies ever made. It's a classic. Well, recently, the owners of that film filed a copyright infringement lawsuit against an adult film producer who used the same title, La Dolce Vita, for one of his porno movies. Oh, that's disgusting, Conan. Yeah. Well, I, I agree with you on that, Max. It's disgusting, yeah. If that producer is watching tonight, I've got a little message for him. Listen up, you shameless filth merchant. What you've done is an outrage. I myself recently went into a video store to rent the classic film La Dolce Vita. Imagine my shock when I arrived home and discovered that it was some old Italian movie with subtitles <laughs> instead of the sleazy porn flick I wanted. <laughs> Couldn't you at least have changed the title a little bit? This never happened when I rented Star Wars or Romancing the Bone. <laughs> Hardcore porn aficionados like me want to get in and out of the video store fast. And since we're usually wearing dark glasses and in a heightened state of arousal, the potential for confusion is high. You owe it to loyal consumers like me to make your titles unambiguously dirty. So we never again come home with a critically acclaimed masterpiece when we wanted a low-budget flesh fest. God bless the adult video industry. And God bless America. My apologies. I don't know if you know this, Ms. Max. We had a little problem having the flag unfold behind you. I'm outraged. <laughs> You'd think gravity would handle it, but we screwed that up. All right. 